Hey everyone, welcome to Tent Talk, the Farmer's Market Podcast. This is a show all about farmer's markets and how to increase your market business success. Whether you're a farmer's market manager or a farmer or food producer selling at farmer's markets, this is the podcast for you. I am Bridget Myers, a current farmer's market manager here in San Diego and a education coordinator for Intense, the Farmer's Market Conference. And I'm Kat Fields-White, Director of San Diego Markets, still an active Farmer's Market Manager, and Founder of Farmer's Market Pros, bringing you conference, classes, community, and this awesome podcast. <laughs> All the good things. <laughs> All the good things. <laughs> and we're here to say, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy okay, holidays. see see if we're out. That's it. Just right. kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to hang around for a few minutes, but this is going to be a short one. Yep, because it's a busy holiday week. It is. No matter what holiday you are celebrating, because Hanukkah... Started yesterday, right? Christmas right. is coming up in a couple days. Kwanzaa on Thursday starts Yeah, on Thursday, Thursday the 26th. Yeah. Boxing Day is that day, too. Oh. We, I know we have a lot of Canadian fans. All of our Canadian listeners, happy almost Boxing Day. That's right. And if you're not celebrating anything, you're probably enjoying a nice, relaxing week. That's right. Where everyone else is running, running around, around. Like chickens with their heads cut <laughs> off. <laughs> running around like crazy, so you're just relaxing. I know our weekday markets are closed this week. We have a Tuesday and Wednesday market. So our Tuesday market lands on Christmas Eve, Wednesday's Christmas Day. So those markets are closed for the week, as well as next week because it's New Year's <laughs> Eve and New Year's Day. So we did decide to um, close those markets. I know we've talked on the podcast before about whether or not to close markets on holidays or things like that. So we did decide that an evening market on Christmas Eve and yeah. a morning market on Christmas Day. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. On Christmas Day. Yeah. Christmas Day, yeah. No, an evening market. Well, that's a given. But an evening market on New Year's Eve right? and a morning market on New Year's Day wasn't quite going to be worth the struggle with the, the farmers and vendors. And just Although if we had a really big old morning market on New Year's Day, yes, I've had markets that are you know really mature, six or seven years old, yeah. um, where we've had really successful markets on New Year's Day. The because, Saturday market, I think, if that was New Year's oh, Day, the Saturday definitely market, be open. Oh, the Saturday market would totally open. Yeah. Yeah. If... Uh, and actually, the North Park Market some years ago when we managed that one. That's right. That was a fairly well-established market. And we had a good New Year's Day market there. Yeah. People wake up on New Year's Day. They're all excited about making resolutions. One of those resolutions is always, let's eat healthier and let's shop local at the farmer's market. So you get a whole bunch of people that come out. It's like being at the gym on New Year's Day. That's right. They're eating cupcakes, <laughs> but they're doing it at the farmer's market. <laughs> they're local cupcakes. Okay? Local cupcakes. And then That's they right. get that like green pick smoothie and they get yeah. a bunch of kale and then they're good. Cancel That's right. out. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. So actually, I'm curious. If you're listening, what is going on with your markets for the holidays? Which, yeah. which holidays are you open on and why? And always wondering how yeah. people kind of make those decisions, but that's what's up with our markets. Yeah. But our Saturday market, this coming Saturday on the 28th, lands right in the middle. Ooh, that'll and be a busy one. It's always super busy because people have family in town that either they want to show the coolest thing in town, which is, of course, the farmer's market, or they want to kick them out of their house because they're sick of them, so they send them to the farmer's <laughs> out of market. House. Go do something fun. Here's a cool farmer's market to yeah, check out. Go. And, um, and they're shopping for like New Year's Eve parties, and there's sure. still holidays going on. I think Hanukkah's still underway at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're they're shopping still for parties. Yeah, that's gonna be a crazy busy. Market. Or they just ate a bunch of Christmas junk, and, and they want to get something come healthy, get something yeah, healthy, get something fresh. Yeah, and just enjoy you know being outside and stuff. So that Saturday market's always really busy. The weekend markets are gonna be great. Um, yeah, and then close the following week, and then we are ready to kick off 2020. That's right. What's your hashtag? What's my hashtag? Hashtag 2020 vision. I love it. <laughs> We're going to use that all year, so get ready. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> I actually snagged that from one of our vendors who wasn't using it for his business, but he was using it personally. But I thought that was very clever. 2020 vision. I think I that's a good it. one. It's going to be a good year. It is going to be a good year. Yeah, so we talk a little bit next week about setting New Year's resolutions for your farmer's market business. Things like that, but now we're setting just resolutions to start a farmers market business. That's right. Those of you that want to escape the cubicle, that's right. Or if your farmers market business is a side hustle, is it time to make that leap? Yep. Do it full time. So right. thinking about that and um, talking about how you make that decision. So that's that's in the next episode. Yeah. But in this episode, we're mm. just, we're not sticking around very long. No. We're so let you get back to it. We're um, going to re- recommend some of our. Yeah. So you're not going to have a lot to listen to this week. We're just about to say bye. Uh, <laughs> But you can listen to last week's episode because I suspect a lot of you missed that because you were really, really busy with that <laughs> last, those last few markets before Christmas where everybody's just crazy. Yeah. Um, so listen to last week's episode. That talk was a good it. one. We talk a lot about the speakers coming up at the uh, Intense the Farmer's Market Conference in February. And then 
or maybe, you know, pick up some older episodes. Yeah. So what's one of your favorite older episodes, Bridge? Definitely recommend episode 48. It's Booth Behavior. Oh. And it's, I, we've always received really good feedback on it um, from vendors and farmers and market managers alike about how to behave in your booth. <laughs> it's uh, aptly named, but it's, you know, all about making sure that your employees or you yourself are making the, the best or making the most of the time you have in your booth at the farmer's market. So oh, that's good. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. I'd listen to number 58 again. That Who's was, that? we always get so many comments on that one about uninvited guests. Oh Yeah. <laughs> It was hard to come up with a name for that group. Yes. Uninvited guests. I think that's subtle. It's subtle. Those uh, folks that decide to do the buffet by sampling. Mm-hmm. or People, petition signers, mm-hmm. probably getting a lot of those in 2020 because it's a big election year. So yep. it's a good thing to listen to before we kind of jump into the new year. Cute dogs. Yeah. Much as we love them. Yeah. Leave them at home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so maybe go back and uh, re-listen to an episode or maybe catch one that you missed. Um, and then we'll be back next week talking about all those New Year's things and yep. then gearing up for the conference, which is coming up in so just over a month now. soon. <laughs> yep. Look at that counter. Click, oh, click, my click, goodness. Click, click, yeah, so and click, get click. your tickets. Actually, oh, yeah, this yeah. is like That's true. your last week of the year is happening right now. So get those tickets at those um, advanced price before uh, it's out. That's right. All righty. Well, uh, everyone enjoy your holidays or whatever you're up to this week. I feel like um, we should sing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. We probably shouldn't. You should see the look on Bridget's face. Are you kidding me? Kat always wants to sing. She was like wanna... that as a small child, actually, when I sang to her, stop. Stop. <laughs> Mom. Mom. <laughs> If you want to hear Kat sing, she can post it on her own personal Instagram. <laughs> I have no control over that. Uh, all right. I'm giving you Do Sing for Christmas. Did you know that? It's an adorable book. Oh, my gosh. Do Sing. I do sing, just to myself. <laughs> Not on my podcast. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. All right. Well, happy holidays anyway. Happy ho, ho, holidays. Ho. ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays to you. And thank you for listening and sticking with us through this busy holiday season. And we'll see and talk to and hear from a lot more of you soon. That's right. This right. is not the last podcast of the year, right? We have one more? One more bef- right before the end of the year, next okay. week, next Thank Monday. you for being with us almost all year. Next year, we'll say, thank you for being with us all of the year. <laughs> Wrapping up 2019. That's right. Happy holidays. All right. Happy holidays. Bye, y'all. Hey, thanks for listening to Tent Talk. Please leave us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you access your podcast. And tell us how you're enjoying the podcast. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss the next episode. And if you want more farmer's market tips, tricks, and information, you can subscribe to our weekly newsletter at farmersmarketpros.com and follow us on Instagram at farmersmarketpros. The fourth annual Intense, the Farmer's Market Conference is coming right up on February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Register right now at farmersmarketpros.com. The advanced ticket price of $295 for an all-access three-day pass is good through the end of the year, so take that business tax deduction for 2019 and get your tickets right now. This podcast is produced by Farmers Market Pros, where passion meets profit. Today's episode was recorded by Adam Samaha and edited by Justine Marzoni-Mead. Original music by David Mead. Thanks so much for listening.